told the officer that they all were uh, had the uh, COVID-19. If they want to leave and get in a car, we cannot stop them. No shelter in place order means no quarantine mandate, even if you've just tested positive for COVID after crossing the border illegally. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Christine Galvan. Tonight, police in La Jolla calling attention to a COVID threat that's already prompted the city manager to issue a memo to employees. They're being asked to protect themselves against possible exposure. This after police say they found a COVID infected family dining out while sick and then learned an entire motel in their city had been rented out for migrants. Channel 5's Trevier Gonzalez is live with the with today's reaction from the Hidalgo County judge and Trevier. What did Judge Cortez tell you? Christine, it's because of that interaction that happened out in La Jolla that's acted as the straw that broke the camel's back here in Hidalgo County. In fact, Judge Richard Cortez using this incident as a means to call on the federal government to stop the release of migrants who are infected with COVID-19. We don't know how long this has happened. We found out only because one concerned citizen decided that she needed to do something because she saw something was not right. It was a family dining at the local Whataburger. According to two separate witnesses, the majority of them clearly not feeling well. A member of that family was upfront with the officer who responded and said that they were migrants and that they had COVID-19. One person even providing documentation that they were allowed to be there and was staying at a nearby hotel, something the responding officer or the department was not aware of. The hotel in totality is, has already been rented out and everybody that lives there or is staying there temporarily has these forms. Those rooms were paid for by Catholic Charities. I think this is endangering uh, our community and I think that's irresponsible for them to do that. Pushing the county judge to call out the federal government, asking them to stop the release of infected migrants, citing multiple reports from Catholic Charities that they have been doing so. A sergeant from the department telling members of the press they're not upset, but stated not knowing about it caused trouble. If you're not informed, that, that causes confusion. La Jolla. I asked Judge Cortez if he had made any formal contacts with the governor regarding his request for more decision-making power for local government as well as school districts. He told me he has reached out to an agency of the governor, the Texas Department of Emergency Management. Reporting in McAllen, Trippie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.